Shaggy. No one here by that name. <laughs> yes, Humphrey. I brought your outfit. Oh, thank you, Humphrey. By the way, you have about an hour until you remember. Super, my sir. I'd kiss you, but I've just eaten. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Did you hear what I just said to Humphrey? Yeah, yeah. Can we just get this number rehearsed? Buddy, we certainly can. Mm. <laughs> All right, Jorge, from the top, if you will, sir. We're moving on up to the east side. We're moving on up. Three cheers for me. We're moving on up. Came about to backslide. Cause we're the Jeffersons and we are on TV. We're on TV. We're moving on up. Hey, Jeffersons, we're moving on. Make me limp. You may be scared and a half, but you're worth every peso. Well, buddy, what did you think, sir? Oh. Oh. Buddy, good lord, sir. What's up your kilt? Sorry, Jackie. I just lost control here for a second. Sometimes I forget how disgusting your act is. I hope there's no hard feelings. I hope you've had your shots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you'll excuse me, gents. Jackie needs a squirt of back team. Uh, oh, oh, dear. Oh, oh, oh. I hope you're not hungry because I'm famished. <laughs> hey, the jelly ones are the best. <laughs> Would you like one? <laughs> Storms aren't the best. I doubt that very much, no way. Because it's just like there's so much fun, you know. You have to run inside and close the windows. Often there's a wind. And the dark clouds above seem to form their own traveling minstrel show, I must say. It's hard to describe why they're so great, but it's just, they're the best. It's like a joke. Hold the phone. I wonder who would be phoning me on this stormy of stormy nights. What if it's a murder? Seeing if I'm asleep so he can strangle me amidst my dreams. And yet, in the same respect, possibly it's just the wrong number, so I mean, it's difficult to really know, I suppose, without answering. Oh, that was, oh, that was close. Yes, hello? Yes, Uncle Basil, could you hold one, one second, please? Yes, thank you. Oh. Yes, sir, Uncle Basil, that was my voice for the Storm Sound Effects album. Oh, yes. Oh, it's so realistic. It's, like, insane. In fact, I was just checking on water damage when you called. <laughs> am I... Oh, am I excited? I am so excited about...
cousin Lamar's wedding tomorrow. Give me a break. I mean, because I've never been an usher before. Just the thought of it is making me go completely mental, you know. <laughs> oh, excuse me? Has Mr. Talbot, the bride's brother, arrived yet? No, he hasn't, Uncle Basil, and I'm anxiously awaiting his arrival because often house guests can be pleasant. <laughs> yes, oh yes. Well, how's, how's Lamar faring? I bet. Well, give him this message for me. Sucker. <laughs> okay, so, okay, bye. Oh, Cousin Lamar's wedding, give me a break. Oh, now suppose that's not gonna be the best. Just the thought of it makes my heart beat like a distant little jungle drum, I must say. <laughs> Gee, I hope I've done well. I hope I don't fail, because that would, I think, be sad in a way. I've been practicing for so long. Can I assume you're one of the bride's people? My arm, if you will. <laughs> oh, it's just gonna be exciting. Oh. Hello, Moby, my little friend in the sea. Do you find Lamar's wedding exciting? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, gee, I wish you'd get over that. That is... Oh, give me a break. Now Moby's fish duty everywhere. And Mr. Talbot, the bride's brother, on his way in. Well, I best back him, I suppose. Because also, you never know what guests might want to stop back after the reception. It could happen. Gee, it seems to be clogged. Uh, 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 uh. Well, it's working. That's no problem. A very pleasant abode. <laughs> yes, who is it? It's Mr. Talbot. The bride's brother. How pleasant. Mr. Talbot. <laughs> well, let me take your bag. <laughs> Uh, uh, well, you can unpack later, I suppose. Are you hungry at all, Mr. Talbot? Can I possibly fix you a hot steaming cup of soup? No, no, please. Uh, I'm quite fatigued, and I haven't been sleeping well lately. What was that? What was that noise? Possibly the neighbor's cock or spaniel. It's difficult to know without checking, I suppose. Quiet down, Leonard. Oh, Mr. Talbot, look, it's a full moon. No, it can't be a full moon. The full moon ended yesterday. No, 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 that's not right at all. Why say something is so when it isn't so? There's nothing to be gained by a lie, Edward. Nothing to be gained. No, I suppose not. <laughs> ah, the howling, the howling, oh, please, I wish it would stop. Perhaps a, co a complaint could be effective. No, 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 no. Just try to ignore me. I, I'm very fatigued, and I've had a long, long journey. Yes, well, I know what that's like, Mr. Talbot. Because once I took a bus trip to Niagara Falls, I remember two people were talking next to me. Oh, well, that's certainly a story that can wait. There's no rush on that one. Here's what you must do. You must lock me in that bedroom there. No problem. And no matter what you hear, or oh. no matter what you think you hear, do not open that door until morning. Ah, my head! Ah! Well, that is one of the worst case of pre-wedding jitters I've ever seen in my life. I, it's just shocking. Oh, and I suppose you're not nervous yourself. I doubt that very much. No way. What if someone asked you to play your triangle at the reception? It could happen. I best practice in preparation. <laughs> Mr. Talbot, are you all right? Mr. Talbot, are you all right? Mr. Talbot? Oh, give me a 
break. This is too frightening. Oh, I'm as doomed as doomed can be, you know. Oh, 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 this is too frightening. Oh, what have I done? I've locked Mr. Talbot in with a monster. Oh, that is so sad. Mr. Talbot, Mr. Talbot, are you all right? No need to yell, Edward. But Mr. Talbot, did you not see a monster run into your room while you were sleeping? Yes, I did. Was he not the most frightening thing you've ever seen? I don't think you have to worry about seeing that monster ever again, Edward. But why? Because the moon is no longer full. Oh, that's, think... good, that's good news. Well, will you be staying a few days, Mr. Talbot? Unfortunately, I have to go to Detroit on business. Oh, that's a shame. I but wanted before... to show you some things. But before that, I will, of course, be an usher at my sister's wedding. You're an usher as well at your sister's wedding? Well, yes, I am. Are you familiar with the usher walk? Oh, <laughs> well, no, I don't believe so. Do as I do. <laughs> well, then, are you possibly free Friday? <laughs> <laughs> 